Welcome back everyone. In the previous few videos, we learned how to work with TypeScript and the useState hook. useState is great for simple state values. However, if you have complex state logic where the next state depends on the previous state, useReducer is preferable. In this video, let's learn how to type a useReducer hook. A friendly reminder, this video is not about the useReducer hook itself, but rather typing the useReducer hook. Let's begin. For this example, I have created a file called counter.tsx within the state folder from before. As you might have guessed, this file contains a simple counter component. To maintain the count state and updations to the counter value, I have included the use reducer hook. Let me go over the code to help you get a better idea of what is happening. First, we have the initial state, which is an object with count set to zero. Then we have the reducer function. It is responsible for updating the state. It accepts state and action as parameters and based on the action type, updates the count value. If action type is increment, count is incremented by a payload that is specified when dispatching the action. If action type is decrement, we subtract the payload from the current count value. Default case, we return the state as is. A straightforward reducer function as you can see. Next, let's move on to the counter component itself. We've called the use reducer hook, passing in the reducer function and the initial state, which returns state and dispatch for use in our component. In the JSX, we display the count value, and we also have two buttons to update the count value. The first one is increment 10, which on click dispatches an action where type is increment and payload is 10. Similarly, we have decrement 10 button with type as decrement and payload as 10 once again. A basic counter component as you can see. Let's now understand how to go about typing the useReducer hook used in this component. Now where do we start? Well that is simple because TypeScript tells us where to start. We see the red squiggly in our reducer function. We need to specify the type of state as well as action. Let's start with the state. State is an object with one property, count, whose value is a number. So at the top, we can add type counter state one property count of type number. And we specify state is of type counter state. That fixes the first squiggly line. Let's move on to the second one, which is action. If you take a look at the reducer function body, we can sort of figure out the structure of action. It seems to be an object with two properties. Type, which seems to be a string, and payload, which seems to be a number. So let's do that and see if it works. Type counter action has a prop type, which is a string, and payload, which is a number. And the parameter action is now of type counter action. TypeScript is now happy. And guess what? This is all we have to do to type the use reducer hook. This is again because of type inference. In the counter component, if you hover over state, you can see TypeScript has inferred state is of type counter state. And if you hover over dispatch, 
The type is react.dispatch of counteraction. TypeScript figured it out from the reducer function that you've passed into the use reducer hook. Like I mentioned before, TypeScript requires your help only when it is absolutely necessary. Other times, it hardly needs your intervention and will figure out the types on its own. Now let's make sure type checking works as expected. On the first button click, if I dispatch an action of boolean type, so type set to false, we get an error. Type boolean is not assignable to type string. And if I change payload to the string 10, type string is not assignable to type number. We have successfully typed the use reducer hook. And on a side note, if you ever come across the need to pass in state and dispatch as props to a component, simply hover on either state or dispatch, copy the type which VS Code shows in the tooltip and use it as the prop type. It's what I do as well. All right, our code works perfectly fine, but let me tell you, we can be more strict when it comes to the action type of the reducer function. Let's discuss about that in the next video.